Hello everyone! Welcome back to Juniper Christian School Chapel live stream. Alright, let's say Happy Hallelujah Day! Right next to your person. One more time. Let's say Happy Hallelujah Day! Alright, you know, a lot of people, they want to celebrate this day, Halloween Day. But uh, we as Christians, especially our school, we, you know, being every year about this season, uh, we celebrate a special you know, culture. It is called Hallelujah Day together. Everyone that prepares, you know, like interesting and fun costumes, not scary, not, you know, like threat threatening or some kind of more meaningful, uh, also, you know, like helpful to understand about the culture. So that's why we having this uh, special day every year about this season. My sermon, especially, especially I prepared the sermon, especially the you know, topic is be transformed. Why? Because everyone become I mean, transformed into certain characters, certain uh, maybe um, you know the the person that you all the time wish. So um, we all look at the uh, Romans chapter twelve and two. A lot of people actually have been watching this uh, the chapel. So especially the parents, our school parents, and also some parents uh, in Korea who's living in Korea, they've been watching this uh, the chapel. So I will speak in Korean sometimes. So as a Korean, sometimes English, sometimes you know like bilingual the sermon. Maybe you may expect that. Let's open that Romans chapter twelve verse two. Romanso 십이장 이절 우리 할렐루야 데이 성경 구절 한번 보도록 하겠습니다. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. 제가 한국말로 로마서 12장 2절 한번 읽도록 하겠습니다. 아주 많이 아는 구절이죠. 너희는 이 세대를 본받지 말고 오직 마음을 새롭게 함으로 변화를 받아 하나님의 선하시고 기뻐하시고 온전하신 뜻이 무엇인지 분별하도록 하라. English the Bible verse the main keyword of the Romans chapter 12 verse 2 is transform, transform. And another keyword uh, the New Living Translation may you say that maybe learn, but another word is discern, discern. 한국말로 분별 또는 어, 새롭게 변화라는 것이 두 단어가 아마 키워드라고 저는 개인적으로 생각하면서 말씀을 준비했습니다. Today um, uh, we have uh, many uh, special guest speakers. Uh, you may be very surprised. Well-known person and from you know young generation to old generation, they know every everyone actually this person. And uh, about three uh, the famous guest speakers. We'll, we are going to invite so and then he's gonna they're gonna come and then explain about and help you know my sermon uh, give you more illustration more you know the deep uh, explanations to, to you so um, we're gonna invite Eversley first Eversley oh hey Eversley how are you man hey Dr. Lee how are you good to see you How's going? Where you been? Yeah, I was busy. I had a concert in Hawaii. It was the last concert. Oh, you must be busy, huh? Okay. All right. So thank you so much for your coming. I mean, the, your time. I know you just, you know, like had just finished the, your concert in Hawaii. So, all right. A lot of our school, uh, the students and parents, they wanna actually listen about your opinion about what Halloween. Day. So, uh, American. One of this is one of you know American cultures, right? So, please, would you explain about what Halloween Day is? Sure. Okay. Of course, I'm gonna talk about what Halloween Day is. No problem. All right. All right. I'll be gone. Okay. All right. Bye bye. You know what? I need glasses. So let me change it. Okay. Um, Halloween Day. All right. It is called a Samhain. It's an ancient pagan festival. You never heard about Samhain. Like sounds like Samhain or Samhain. 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 So, um, you know, actually, the, uh, when I was in jail, I was a bad, very uh, the bad person and a rebellious person. I was a 
you know, fighting a lot, and I, was, I didn't listen to my parents. Uh, so, you know, did, did, have you watched my video? It's, it is called Jail, Jailhouse Rock. Like that, Jailhouse Rock. You, you, you didn't watch this one? Dr. Lee danced very well. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to the story of the Halloween. All right. So, um, you know, the people, South, it is called Celtic people. It's about uh, 400 BC around that. So, like, if you look at the map, you know, like, the, it's like France or Germany. That area, like, people, they actually uh, moved to the, the England and then the Spain area. That time, actually, they celebrate special, um, you know, time. They, they had actually a special festival. It is called and Sawin. So according to research, the origin of a Halloween can be traced to this ancient pagan festival celebrated by Celtic people over 2,000 years ago. Wow! 2,000 years ago! The people called Celts believed the, that the dead could walk, walk among the living at this time. Wow! During Sawin, the living could visit with the dead. 죽었던 사람이 같이 산 사람하고 같이 살아갈 수 있는 특별한 날이 사윈이란 날이라고 합니다. 이런 얘기를 들으면 어전 생각나는 사람이 있어요. Zombie, zombie. When I talk about zombie, I'm so scary. So um, let me invite my one of my strongest person. It's like you know the brave person. Goku. All right, he's gonna probably flying, and they come here. All right, so let me invite it. Hey, Goku! Okay, thank you, Eversley. All right, thank you so much for this time. Okay, I was fighting with uh, Frieza, Frost, and Ziren. As you know that they're so strong, but my strong power. If you watch this Dragon Balls. But I don't recommend it because younger kids are too violent, okay? Remember that. I end up the fighting with this. Come here, Okay. I need a glasses, by the way. So, let me um, explain what Halloween Day is and uh, wrap up this one, okay? So, Halloween is one of the famous American holidays today. So many kids, they, you know, the, you know came out from home and they walk, you know, walk. Especially at nighttime. Guess what? The popularity of the Halloween is growing exponentially. Americans spend over nine billion dollars annually on Halloween, making one of the country's top commercial holidays. Wow! Nine billion dollars. Money, 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 money. Nine billion. Is a 구조. 한국 돈으로 구조해 구조. 구조를 Halloween Day custom 이거 사느냐고 이런 거 사지 마. 너무 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 많이 해요. 오늘날 이런 커스텀을 사려고 또 사탕을 받으려고 하는 것이 걸어 다니는 것이 또 귀신 같이 하는 것이 할로윈 데이라고 많이 얘기합니다. Have you watched this music video, Michael Jackson Thriller? When I, Dr. Lee told me when he was young, young, young age, he watched this one and then wow, he was shocked and then you know start to listen. This is you know especially pop song. This music video, a zombie came out. Wow! It's kind of like weird and then, but it's kind of fun. But enjoy watching, but nighttime. When you sleep, oh, somehow darkness, dark, the spirit comes to me. I feel kind of scared that in that moment, not Goku, but Jesus Christ. You need that because he's the person to save you. So let me ask this question. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? Well, I don't think I could explain to you why, because I'm not that holy. Maybe a special person, we need that. His name is Jesus Christ. Let me invite Jesus Christ and let me give you this one. And then I'll be gone. Kamehameha! Thank you, Goku. I know. You need me, Jesus Christ. I know you're a strong person, but you don't believe me, then it's not good, okay? You have to believe me.
He asked me, Goku asked me, should Christian celebrate Halloween? It's a good question. So maybe tricky question, maybe difficult question to answer. But I, Jesus Christ, for you, let me give you my word. Okay, let's read Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. This is so important Bible you have to remember about this season. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. In Korean, Jesus speaks in Korean. Do you know that? All right, let me show you. 예배소서 6장 12절 우리의 씨름은 혈과 육을 상대하는 것이 아니오 동치자들과 권세들과 이 어두움의 세상 주관자들과 하늘에 있는 악의 영들을 상대함이라 무슨 말이냐면 우리는 지금 이 땅에 살고 있지만 영적 전쟁을 하고 있다라는 것입니다. We living this planet but still in spiritual world it is called warfare warfare spiritual warfare we are facing this movement every day that's why Ephesians chapter 6 and 12 what authorities evil rulers what we have to be against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against almighty powers in this dark world against evil spirits in the heavenly places let me give you an example can you see here on the right side this angel all right and just talking to me oh what about this part there's an evil spirit he speak to me and then what both of them they talk each other and then what try to persuade me to follow either angel or evil. So your case, your life is same situation. What do you listen? Do you listen evil, Satan, or angel, or Jesus Christ? Because I, I am, am always, always with you. you. You need to listen, not Satan. But Jesus Christ, my voice all the time. So we're fighting against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against the almighty powers in this dark world, against the evil spirits in the heavenly places. So Halloween day is like a lot of evil spirits. You may see that. So you have to be aware and what it is good and evil and then you have to remember what the bible mentioned so romans chapter 12 and 2 don't copy the behavior and custom of the this world but let god transform you into a new person by changing the way you think then you will learn to know god's will for you which is what all the time god is good and perfect and pleasing it's such a great great message so i want you guys to keep in mind this one so um, this message this season romans book of romans chapter 12 verse 2 all the time remember okay i love you and then i'd like to invite dr lee thank you so much for jesus christ and also thank you so much for Avis lee and uh, thank you for Goku, all right, strong man in the world. All right, um, you guys, uh, you know, like explanations about Halloween day and uh, also a lot of, you know, illustrations, uh, examples, really helpful to understand what it is. It's about the Halloween, you know, day. I'd like to talk about October 31st, what happened like, you know, a long time ago, about um, 600 years ago. His name is Martin Luther. He was born 1483 and died 1546. 
Uh, look at the screen. Uh, you could see, understand a little bit more better. I actually explained and talked about this person about two years ago. Why? Because October 31st, this day it is called Reformation Day. Reformation Day. What it means, I would like to explain to you pretty soon. Martin Luther, um, actually he was born in the 1483 uh, Germany. Uh, at the uh, when he was at uh, the age of uh, five, he studied uh, his uh, primary education, and then he became a monk, which is the Catholic priest, which is today's father, and then became uh, the philosopher, and became a professor. He's a very well-known, educated you know, person, and also he loves study, he loves you know, God, he, he loves spending a lot of time reading the Bible. In order to be a global Christian leader, we need to gain a lot of knowledge and know about the Bible well. Why? Because your knowledge, the wisdom will be used by God for sharing the gospel. So Martin Luther, he was a very smart person, but she spent a lot of time, you know, put my efforts reading and then spending the, his, about the prayer time. And actually, the, um, one day he read the book of Romans and he realized, oh, faith. It is important, more, more important than behaviors. When we confess Jesus Christ as a Savior, then we do, we have to be transformed what God mentioned, and then we live like Jesus Christ and demonstrate what we believe, what we confessed, what the Bible said. So um, he was, you know, starting to proclaim this message to the people at the time. But a lot of, you know, actually the, um, the people, they're against actually the Martin Luther. Why? Uh, Martin Luther against their policy or maybe a politics or they kind of like, uh, he, Martin Luther threatened their uh, territory. So they're trying to kill uh, Martin Luther. So he uh, escaped. And during this time, what he did that he translated the Bible into German. At the time, actually, only few people could read the Bible. Why? Because the Latin is written by a Latin. So only few educated you know, people could read it. So Martin Luther, he spent a lot of time during the what? It's like, you know, some isolated, you know, the period, uh, escaped from, you know, his enemies. He translated the Bible into German. So what a great contribution. And then, you know, his translation, the Bible, it was printing and then it publicated to the people uh, in, you know, Germany. So that's why, um, you, know, you know, a lot of theologians, you know, came from the, you know, Germany today. Um, the, 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 the part that we have to learn about, you know, Martin Luther is this one. What, the, you know, the people said, and Martin Luther said, I have so much to do. I shall spend the first three hours in prayer. Once again, I have so much to do that I shall spend the first three hours in prayer. When he was in danger and uh, when, he, uh, was, and when he faced the kind of death, you know, the moment, he spent first three hours in prayer when he woke up. Well, it's like maybe another word is hebekido, maybe today in Korean, you know, church context. It's really, really interesting. I mean, the impressing is commitment and the dedication you know, for Jesus Christ. At that moment, you know, God came to his life and then gave him um, his comfort, the peace and encouragement. And then wisdom that uh, Martin Luther, he composed a song. It is called, Almighty Fortress is Our God. Martin Luther가 도망가서 피했을 때 성경으로 번역을 독일어로 했고 그 다음에 여러 가지 기도도 많이 하면서 제일 많이 했던 것이 또 하나가 뭐냐면 작곡, 찬송가를 작곡했습니다. 그게 뭐냐? 내 주는 강한 성이요 라는 곡입니다. 내 주는 강한 성이요 이 찬양이죠. A mighty fortress is our God. 이런 걸로 인해서 오늘 10월 31일이 종교 개혁 일입니다. 하지만 오늘날의 문화가 이 종교 개혁 일이 같은 날에 할로윈 데이가 됐다는 사실을 오늘날 크리스천들도 잘 모른다는 것을 안타깝게 생각할 수 있다는 것입니다. Today 
As you know that, as I mentioned, October 31st, supposed to be called as not Halloween day. We celebrate not Halloween day, but Reformation day, which one? It's focused on the faith, faith. Well, God command us or remind us to have strong faith in God. So um, I want to encourage you. So we're going to have a meaningful day, especially Hallelujah Day. But meanwhile, you got to focus on what Halloween Day is, what Hallelujah Day is, what Reformation is. This kind of uh, term, you know, de definition, even the, uh, the knowledge about you know, the cultures, we learn, and we know, we understand, then we live you know, in Christ and have better discernment to see the world and then you know, uh, transform into the God's person. So, 오늘 이 시간의 말씀 가운데 여러분 함께 해주셔서 감사하며 이러한 말씀으로 우리가 함께 지혜를 갖고 분별을 갖고 이 세상을 살아가면서 하나님의 관점에서 문화를 보고 이해하고 접근하고 살아가는 우리 모두 다 되길 주, 주님의 이름으로 조언하겠습니다. Let's bow our heads. Jesus, we thank you so much for your time. What a great cultures you create us. What a Diversity, which means, uh, you know, everyone's unique, different. And because you create us as your image, what the Bible said. Lord, we want to keep in mind that everyone's special. Everyone's unique. And then cultures, language, and the food, all the things you've given us is very unique and beautiful. Lord, uh, please, we want to celebrate this special moment, special day. But we want to keep in mind what Today's original, the main purpose, what it is, it is called Reformation Day, which means a focus on the faith in Christ. Be with us, bless us, bless upon today's all the programs. Thank you so much for our teachers, their commitment and support, our students, their cooperation, obedience, and also willingness, and our parents, also their um, you know, support and their prayers. Thank you so much. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Let me invite Jesus Christ, and then let me give you on this one. Kamehameha! Manna?